welcome back to my channel so as you guys probably can notice i have my little mozzie bean just right here oh there he is so he's gonna be our star guest in today's video so today's video is going to be another little different video i thought about making so i figured you guys might be interested in knowing how much i spend on my pets like monthly so hopefully i don't i'm not like all over the place with this video but i might be so bear with me i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do to let me know that you enjoyed it so i figured that i should start with like this month alone so every month i feel like our expenses for our pets vary um i will end up telling you guys the most important things that i end up actually buying monthly opposed to just everything else that I, we buy for the pets so let me start off i want to show you guys these awesome beautiful canvas um canvases that my boyfriend ordered and i'll leave the link in the description box because i shared them on some groups and everyone seemed to love them so i'm sure you guys will probably want to get some too so give me one second while I go grab this. Okay, so the first one we have is this one and this is of the Sugar Gliders. As you guys can see, it's like a Pokemon card, but it's the size of like a canvas. So let me get the one of Mozzie. So this is the one of Mozzie. Guys, look at how good it looks. Look at Mozzie. And look at this drawing. I love it. You can put your pet's name. You can um, add the description. Kind of write whatever you want to write. So I'm not sure how much my boyfriend spent. I know it was probably a little less than 100 or over 100 He didn't want to really tell me the price. But he did say they did get pricey. So definitely a little less than 100 or over 100 So obviously that's not something that I just always buy, but I feel like if you're a pet owner and you really love your pets, you're always going to want to spend money on them and buy them all types of different things. So something else. Okay, so this month, this is also not something that I do every month, but it's something that I do at least every three months, which is take the sugar gliders to a pet shop that you know it's an exotic pet shop i've mentioned it on my channel before so i'll take them to the pet shop to get their nails trimmed because i'm still super scared to do that myself like i've seen videos but i'm just like i feel like there's so little that like anything can happen so i just feel more comfortable taking them to the pet shop and i've mentioned to you guys before what i do that i'm able to actually wait such a long time is the nails will probably grow back in like two weeks but once they start growing back i start letting them run um i get them a brand new trimming track for their silent runner wheel and that usually maintains it for a little bit of time also they climb and stuff around the room so the nails i feel like kind of cut down as they're like running everywhere and it also that's kind of one of the good reasons that you know your sugar glider you never want to cut them like too short all the time because then like i wish i would have took a video i don't think i did the first like two or three days that the babies got their nail trim literally they couldn't hold on to anything so that was about 30 dollars thank goodness because i've seen in pet groups that some people spend like $50, $80 for sugar glider nail trims. Thank goodness this place has reasonable price, $15 per sugar glider, so $30 for that. Something else that we bought this month that we don't buy every single month is going to be some new plants for Mozzie's enclosure. So I'll also show you guys those. So one second, let me bring them for you guys. So we've got this one. I forgot exactly what it's called but 
I'm gonna make a chameleon video and probably add them in there. So if I do, this one will have the name there. Also got this Japana. And this is for Mozzie's enclosure. I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to clean it out so that we can add some new plants and kind of just switch up his cage. So the plants weren't very pricey actually. I got them from Home Depot. So it only cost me about $25 for both of those plants. So with just the nail trimming, the canvases, the plants, and also I got something to make a do-it-yourself sugar gutter toy, which I think you guys are gonna be excited about. Gonna make a reset toy and it's gonna be super cool. Can't wait to do that for you guys. But um, I also spent $10 on that. It was actually my little sister's, but um, you know, she wanted to make some money and I don't, girl, I'm all for it. Learn how to hustle, you know? Um, so I gave her $10 for it. It's an old toy and I'll be using it for the Shuggies just this month. That's kind of not stuff you would need to buy, but how much we spent would probably be, and this is an estimate because I don't know the prices of the canvases that my boyfriend bought, but the amount that we spent just on that this month is it's about $165, maybe even a little bit extra because like I said, not sure how much the canvases are. I'm just giving more of an estimate for that but yeah guys so now now we can get into what I usually buy in a month and how much that costs me so every month the main things that we need to buy are food of course so sugar gliders have a staple diet right so the things for the staple diet um I don't have to buy that always as often. What I do always have to buy for the sugar gliders are fruits and vegetables. And we buy that monthly. We usually go shopping um, about twice a month. So I would say in the twice a month on just fruit and veggies alone, we probably spend about 30 to $40 on that a month. Um, then we'll move on to Mozzie, right? So Mozzie eats bugs and the bugs that we like to feed him are usually Duvia roaches and black fly larvae and then most of the time we'll buy like a tree which is used for him and the sugar gliders. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed but our star guest has decided to move. So there he is. But continuing on so mozzie's bugs actually this month we as of right now so it kind of the monthly bug expense kind of um varies because we get different bugs like we're not always feeling feeding exactly the same feeders every single like two weeks or month that we order kind of depends because we don't order in huge bulk of bugs but um to make this like short and simple i guess when we just we just ordered we just got some bugs from the pet shop that we went to and all I got was some dubia roaches about a 50 count and then 18 hornworms which is a treat for the sugar gliders and mozzie and those two things were about $22 but usually like if we're getting like black soldier flies and then um will be a roaches it will probably be a little more like 35 so the price varies with the bugs but we usually do spend i would say monthly because we order like small so we're ordering like every two weeks so we would probably spend anywhere from 20 to 40 dollars a month on bugs so i'm sorry that i can't get super detailed in the expenses and how much everything costs but a lot of things vary so i'm trying my best um something that i'm lucky about is that for my sugar gliders like um they're kind of messy right so they have like a pull out tray and in that pull out tray um i would say that i got lucky because the pads instead of having 
that as an expense that I would probably have to do like monthly I get them free so that's one thing that I don't even have to worry about when it comes to cost but yeah other people might and that can get a little costly right so our cheapest expense that we buy um monthly and we either buy you know we either buy it twice a month or once a month depending how long it lasts is bottled water so that's literally our cheapest expense so we buy bottled water for both of our pets um we just think that it's safer and so we like to be like safe than sorry when it comes to the water um so that's only about five bucks or ten bucks a month but still something that's added into my expenses monthly so like i mentioned right every month for us varies in cost for our pets so i'm sorry that this video is everywhere but um i feel like on a like if i had to report every single month what i know for sure that i'm spending on our pets it would be $50 a month. So we spend about $50 a month and that's that change that price always changes, but that's how that's the least. I'm going to say the least that we spend on a in a month on our pets is $50. And those costs just include the fruits and vegetables since the girls have to eat that every night, bugs since that's what Mozzie has to eat all the time. Um and then water so those are like the super important things that we buy every single month. So that's so basically I covered what I spend minimum every month. And then let's say that I have to buy the girls their staple diet food. So their staple diet food, whenever I have to buy it, it comes to a total of $31. Um, and I'm looking that way because I wrote everything down on a paper so that this video wasn't like extremely just like me rambling and sounding crazy. So, um, yeah, $31 for that. And then if, like I said, I usually often, very often once their nails are getting longer, probably like monthly, I buy at least one silent runner and that's about $11. And then including like the treats, like I said. So if we get hornworms, that's about $10. That's a treat for Mozzie and the girls. And then I spend probably like another $10 once in a blue on just regular treats for the girls. And the treats vary in what I buy, but $10 would be a minimum on treats. And I would say like $20 would be a max on treats like monthly or every other month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I've kind of spilled about most of our expenses. I've probably missed some, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so that you can know when me, Mozzie, Aussie, and Gia are on here and posting some new content for you guys. See you next time. Bye.